Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I'm sorry, I got all screwed up at the beginning. It happens now and then. As I get older, I get a little flummoxed. But I'm okay now, okay? All right? Um, welcome to our program, and uh, we have to admit somebody to our show. Uh, and uh, then we will also go over to, uh, let's see, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, maybe I won't go to him. Uh, Jeez almighty, wait a minute, where are we? Uh, now you see, I've got to figure out what to do here. For some reason, I am just so screwed up these days. What'd you do? I don't know, I just screwed up the whole opening to the show. I had to restart it. I got uh, like, uh, 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 what is it, three uh, three different openings here that I've got to do away with here. There we All go, right. 34, 35, 36. Okay, so I get rid of those and I get rid of that. And I can move, move those to the trash, and the rest are fine. And, um, hmm. Did it okay, have anything to do to with the now. AT&T outage? Huh? No, what? Did it have anything to do with the AT&T outage today? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. yeah. Were you caught in the AT&T outage? No, I got uh, Verizon. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, but I mean, it happens. It doesn't matter. Verizon has no service, so, you know, whether, <laughs> whether it was an outage or not, it doesn't well, work in I most mean, places. I mean, the thing that gets me is that um, um, we were going to go, we had to go to our doctor today. Marjorie and I both go to the same uh, knee doctor to get our, we, we get uh, our, uh, what do you call it, uh, what are the, what, what's the stuff they put in there? in your knee oh uh, cortisone cortisone and we go get our cortisone shots together yeah and so we have the same doctor and everything so it's kind of cute right. but anyway we're going to go down and so i call i'm ready to call uh what do you call it uh lift yeah <laughs> and, and i'm sorry there was no lift i'm sorry you know was it due gone. to the outage it was due to the outage yeah wow yeah, yeah. Uh, why do you have that picture up there? Well, uh, that's you. Yeah, that's me. In about 1971, 72, when I first met you. And that's what you look like. And and Naomi actually made me breakfast at your apartment. Really? The, yeah, the gal that's... I'd in, rather in not picture. see her picture. <laughs> okay, I can change it. Or I can move. That did not yeah. end up well, okay? All right. Well... She was extremely hot. Yeah, she was. Yeah. I met her at, uh, we had a, one of these WPLJ live concerts. Yeah, and, I remember those. And uh, I think it was with, I can't remember who it was with. I don't remember who it was with. But anyway, I saw this woman from across the room, and I went, man, she is hot. I wish I could meet her. But you know me, I'm shy. I don't go up to people and say, hey, what's your name? I'm Alex. Hey, come on. Let's see. Yeah, she could definitely stop traffic. But all of a sudden, yeah. the next day, I get a call from this woman, and yeah. I said, uh, she said, I saw you last night at the uh, concert, the PLJ yeah. concert, and uh, uh, I was wondering who you are, and somebody told me you were Alex Bennett, and they gave me this number, because I was listed in the book, yeah. and um, that was the beginning of one of the most horrendous relationships I ever had. <laughs> she I mean, made I good go eggs. through the whole story, it's just... Yeah. Ridiculous, you know. Uh, uh, but, I understand. So, you know, if people want to see what you looked like with hair, what were you, about 35, 40? No, no, that. you must have been about I, 30. Early 30s, really early 30s. Like maybe, when, when did I come to New York is what I'm trying to figure. I was like 68, uh, 60. No, 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 it was later. Uh, it was, no, it was, it, was, it was 70, 79 I came to New York. No, no, it was a lot earlier. Wait a minute, 80, uh, 69. 
69, yeah. 69, yeah. I came to New York. And that was done. That was for the National Lampoon Radio Dinner. Yeah. And I, I was, bought another copy. And I just so bought, I could get this picture. You bought another copy so you could get that picture? Right. Well, that when picture, I sold all my albums, yeah. it... it the one you signed for me went with my albums. And um, so I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to buy another one uh, now that I've got a turntable. But later yeah. on, they didn't do that version. Right. This is the gatefold yeah. version. This is the one and, that opened up. Yeah. Right. And later on, they didn't have the gatefold. Yeah. And in, uh, in other countries, because I looked on Discogs. Do you know what that is? No. Uh, it's an online... Uh, record uh, buying and selling service. Okay. And uh, so you can buy anything on this Discogs. And uh, you know, they tell you they got ratings and things like that. It's kind of like the eBay for uh, records. Yeah. And uh, so I'm looking, and I wanted the one with the gatefold because I wanted this picture. And um, I saw that the pictures are different in different countries. Are they really? Yeah, so the gatefolds that came from, like, England had had different photos in it. So my picture wasn't in there? Uh, I didn't notice it, no. Uh, it was it was a different, uh, like, a different setup. Wow, well, it's because it, I, they speak a different language over there. Well, they, they wouldn't have known <laughs> who you were, you know, except for the fact that well, you went over to haunt the Beatles. They didn't know any of the other people were either. No, they probably put people from England in. No, then nobody from England did the album. Oh, well, I, I wonder why uh, they had different photos. You could have bought... A, did you ever listen to it? Yeah, in the 70s. <laughs> did, no, but, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, did you listen to the album you bought later on? Uh, this one? I, I just got it Friday. No, uh, I didn't. I, I looked at it. It It's not in as good a condition as the guy said it was. No, but here's the question I have. Did you play it? Did you try to play it? No. So you don't even know if it's the same if it's not just a rip-off album. No, no, no. It definitely is. It's got all the marks. It's uh, uh, the the problem with this one is somebody dropped a needle no, 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 on. But it. I'm talking about the one that doesn't have my picture in it. Oh. oh. But it said it was from the UK. You, it, it'll tell you where the album comes from, what pressing it was. Uh, you get all this information. Was on there a picture of Chris Surf in there? I don't know what he looks like. You've seen his movies. I have? Yeah. What is it? Oh, all those movies he did, like uh, uh, Waiting for Guffman and uh, uh, the one about the dog show. And uh, there was, yeah. I didn't see them. <laughs> about folk singers, one called Folk Singers. Yeah? Yeah. You didn't see them? They're all parodies. They're very funny pictures. You didn't no, see I those didn't. movies? Oh. No. I, no, well, Chris I Surf was on that album. I hated Chris Surf. Oh. But, okay. Yeah, but he well, hated I, I noticed his name was on the album. I, uh -huh. I, was looking at, I was looking at the different names of the people that yeah. were on it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, here we are, Phil. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I guess we escaped the end of the world because there's cell service again. Yeah. Uh, Hey, you had a good show last night, and um, uh, Albert uh, was uh, was very interesting. Well, Albert's uh, always very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I I got to tell you, it was it was it was nice. How come uh, your first half hour is becoming all your old producers? Is this a punishment? Or <laughs> I'm, I'm not yeah. aware that there was any other producer. Yeah, you had uh, Lori. She wasn't a producer. Oh, she was your news person, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, and Doug Chuck Farnham was um, uh, my uh, stunt guy ah. on the show. Yeah, okay. no, I only have one one producer that I have on. Yeah, you know. So, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. You sent me a list. I, yeah, I figured I'd give you a list of some things. I mean, uh, it's a pretty uh, mediocre list. TikTok, well, how, orange how much peel time do you think I'm going to put into this film and this gig. post? What? How much time do you think I can put into this gig? No, but what does that mean? TikTok orange peel ah, theory okay. that, that that's people an interesting film thing. and post? Yeah. What, what happens is, uh, you know, on TikTok, they have all these different challenges. Now, I don't watch TikTok, but I saw the, uh, the, the news item over it. And uh, the, I, was on a, I was on a case where uh, uh, that I had to hear 
as on a panel for the DA's office, and uh, there was a TikTok challenge where people went around with these Nerf guns uh, that shoot little paint pellets, and they were shooting at bicyclists, and they were filming it and then putting it on TikTok. Uh, so these okay, guys got that's arrested. That's a pretty boring subject. Yeah. So, yeah. so now this this one uh, in particular was a orange peel theory. Now what the orange peel theory was is they said if you ask somebody to peel an orange for you, and and ask them to feed it to you, and then if they do, they're submissive, and, and you and you video it as they're doing it, and then you post it on TikTok. So it's a challenge of people peeling oranges and feeding it to other people you know i mean if somebody asks okay, you to okay let's peel move on to your next topic all right well i had an idea that you could ask your listeners to uh come up with a tick a TikTok type challenge and video it and then put it on your facebook page i have a TikTok challenge leave me the fuck alone <laughs> Anyway, let's go to hey, number two okay, here. Did you see Super any Super Bowl, Bowl com commercials? Well, now, that it's almost a, a week too late to talk about that. Hey, well, it, either, did you talk about it a week ago? Yeah. Okay. Which ones did you like the best? Uh, I liked the... Which one did I like? There's one that I was especially fond of, but I can't remember what it was now because it's a week later. Oh, I liked uh, the Arnold it, Schwarzenegger. It's getting too hot the, in here. Hold on a second. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, they turned the heat on, huh? I guess. Da 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 yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I can't remember. There was one other I really liked. Uh, was it the old ladies chasing the some sort of crunchy treat? No. Do, no. Uh, uh, was okay, it the well, Jesus let's move commercial? on to another topic. All right. Uh, uh, what about the halftime show? Did you talk about that? I didn't really watch it. I watched a few minutes of it, and then I left it. It, it wasn't just, very good, was no, it? No, I mean, I don't think they had a particularly good guy musically plus you now how good can those shows be they're saying oh we're bringing in madonna she's going to do 15 minutes i mean well, madonna uh, hasn't I, done you know these people haven't done 15 minutes in years but usher was looked like a ripoff of michael jackson yes but there was this girl who was playing the guitar and she was shredding it i don't know who she was I forget who she is now she's a famous guitar she's famous yeah she was great yeah I, I could listen to that. Gee, my lips are red. Yeah? Well, then you got too much saturation. Huh? Go to your webcam settings. <laughs> yeah, well, I could do that. Uh, all right. Um, Tucker Carlson interview. This is one that you uh, talked about last night mm -hmm. for a sec. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you were saying that you didn't like the fact that it was a conversation. and that No, was, I didn't say I didn't like the fact that it was a conversation. I didn't like the fact that he was, you know, if you're doing, a, there are two different kinds of interviews you do. All right. One is showbiz people, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, sh show business and so on. And in that one, there's a certain way you approach that kind of interview. If you've got a politician on, it's a different story. You have to be proactive, you have to ask the tough questions. What you want to do is you want to get answers for your audience out of these people that, you know, they want to hear the answers to whatever that question might be. And he was just completely timid, you know, completely timid. And even even Putin said he thought it was a softball interview. I I watched it again today uh, just so that Why, you I like to get bored. Well, you know, no, I I I, um, I ripped through the, uh, the the history lesson. And, you know, that was, what, 20, 30 minutes. But uh, when I did first watch it, I learned Putin's perspective on what it was. Now, I don't agree with what Putin did, and I don't think that uh, he was justified because of, uh, of history in the past. And uh, Well, the whole know. thing he did about Poland was completely wrong. What it was was a revisionist history 
that mm-hmm. actually Adolf Hitler per, uh, perpetrated. What they did is they they uh, clothed up some concentration camp people yeah. in Polish uniforms and then had them attack. Really? And then said that Poland start the war, started the war. And that was yeah. that was completely testified to and proven in the Nuremberg trials. Well, th- this whole Putin uh, reason for going into Ukraine that uh, he, that he was being excluded from uh, NATO and and he the wasn't Western being excluded world excluded from NATO. He never wanted to join NATO. Well, that's not what he said in the interview. Well, do you believe Putin? Come on. Well, uh, well, I guess if you're that, a really good Republican these days, you do believe Putin. Well, no, yes. well, you believe Putin when he said that Biden was the best guy for the job. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. <laughs> I thought he was doing everything he could to screw over Biden when he said that. Yeah, I think so too. Mm-hmm. You know, he's gonna he's gonna pick who's best for him for the job, not who's best for the United States. Yeah, but anyway, so I mean, I you know I felt that uh, that his it was too softball. You well, know, I mean, even if you love the guy, you know, you, you go in there and you ask a couple of questions. You ask about Navalny. You ask did, about well, uh, you ask Navalny about the Wall Street yet. Journal reporter. He did. He did. The last questions were. Can you let me take that reporter back to the states? Oh no, he wanted he wanted to do a little publicity thing by doing What's that. What's the difference? He and, did and, ask and, him and, about it, and Putin knew that and wasn't about ready to turn the guy over to this fucking well, moron who go, looks who looks like he's always head faces in the headlights. Well, uh, you know what what I gathered from that was that Putin was was opening up the channel of communications that he was willing to negotiate. Now, when uh, when Tucker Carlson asked him to give him uh, the reporter, he said, you know, I, I've done enough good deeds and I never get any in return. Uh, I, who did they give? Uh, who did we give them for Griner? Did we give them anybody? Yeah, we uh, gave them like three different spies, I think. I see. One of which was uh, a guy who created debt. People who killed people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're good at it. Yeah, hardly, hardly the equivalent of Griner. Okay. Yeah. Well, I yeah exactly. But I I listened I listened to the interview and I came away saying you know I I didn't want to hear Tucker Carlson. If you want to side. see a better interview with Putin, you can watch the one with uh, with uh, what's uh, his Stone. name Stone Stone. Yeah, that, that was no, a pretty was... good interview because he asked him hard questions. Yeah, but you it was know, a different, and Putin, different Putin time. Putin said to somebody on um, uh, television in Russia that, um, uh, you know, he felt that the interview with uh, Tucker Carlson, he was expecting a tougher interview. Well, And what uh, he said Putin, he got was basically softball and couldn't believe how weak it was. Putin controlled the interview. That, that, that well, was he obvious. plays out the clock. He starts giving you a history lesson that goes on for a half hour till you're falling asleep. Well, you know. He said, you know, are we going to, uh, is this a studio or are we going to have a conversation? And uh, Carlson said it's going to be a conversation. And I, yeah, well, you, you know, have I for a one, conversation, but you, in that conversation, you ask the questions that everybody wants to hear the answers to. And he wasn't doing any of that. Well, yeah, it, it um, he was Carlson wasn't in control. is a terrible interviewer. No, well, and uh, all he wanted out of that interview was publicity for himself. Well, what what would go on? Well, he did he interview you in the days when you were on his Friday show, or he was I was uh, he was the host of the show, and I was on with somebody else, and we debated each other, and uh, I think uh, Tucker Car- hardly ever joined in. Well, in the maybe that's his style, huh? He would Maybe say he would give the, throw the topic out, and then we would bat it between us. So I we know ne- I never had a real conversation politically with Tucker, but I have to give him credit back in those days that in spite of the fact where his politics lay, and the other guy against me was a uh, was a real you know right winger. Mm-hmm. Um, he, um, by the way, we got along. Uh, but he was uh, he was very good to me, had me on every week, in spite of the fact that my opinions were way out there. And the only reason that I stopped doing it is that MSNBC decided it wasn't good. It didn't it didn't sound great for the uh, for their format. So he, rather than get fired, said goodbye. You huh. know, nice having you around. But we did about maybe thirteen weeks straight. Yeah. Huh. 
something like that. Yeah. I, I have them all here. I could actually yeah. put them up on the line and let people see them. Would be yeah. it would be interesting, yeah, especially. Didn't you say that uh, one of them was uh, who's that attorney? Was Trump's uh, father's attorney? No. He said he looked evil. No, no. I only debated this one guy all the time. Same guy. Same. Which guy was? We that? did it together once, and he thought Tucker thought it went so well he wanted to keep doing it. Yeah. Who's the guy you? you I can't debated? remember his name now. Florida no. talk show host. Oh, okay. Uh, Paul. Um, no, don't try and figure it out. No, a real co conservative guy. Real conservative, yeah. 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 Um, well, getting back to the list, I think that um, the Palestinian Hamas Israeli war thing, that, <clears throat> that Palestine is overstating the number of deaths that are happening to try to gain world uh, anger against Israel. By saying and that there are, he, you that say there are 25,000 when maybe there's less. What do you mean? And Hamas? You uh, mean well, he's uh, overestimating Hamas's deaths to get his sympathy Hamas for Israel? And, no, no. I think Hamas and the Palestinians are reporting a, a greater number of uh, deaths. These have than, been reported believe it or not, by the Red Cross. Uh, the, uh, I don't know that the Red Cross is totally uh, uh, this is neutral. The, by the, or uh, I think the Green Cross, actually, in that part of the world. Or the Green yeah. Crescent. Red um, Crescent? Yeah. Is, 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 is there uh, is Islamic... Is the uh, Palestinian... Red, it, it, Red Cross. But I think right. it's the Red Cross. And it, oh, it's the U.N., that was saying that that many had died. Well, the UN is the, the one that's really hitting Israel. But All I'm, all I, I'm I saying, know, let's say it's half of what they say it is. Okay. It's, it's still, still overkill. Lot. You know, there's an easy way to end this war. Yeah, send the, you over Hamas, there. What? Hamas surrenders and, and, and turns in their weapons, and then the war is over. Oh, well, why doesn't Israel stop uh, killing all of them? Because this is a war. No, it's not yeah. a war. They, they Hamas started war. the war, but the people there who are dying didn't start the war. Phil, well, they're, they're out there trying How to. How can you out, look uh, at a baby Hamas. at a baby with an arm blown off by the Israelis and say, "Oh, gee, that's that's really right because uh, they attacked uh, Israel first. Sure, and the Israeli Listen, babies that they had no their heads cut off. No question, what Hamas. Then did to Israel was terrible, and if Israel had used certain uh, caution in their response, they would have had the pity of the world, but they don't. They lost well, they did, but they lost it. It doesn't, it. It doesn't matter. It. it doesn't matter what Israel's response All you have to do is look is. at the pictures of those kids. They lost it. Yeah, well, they ought to show the pictures of the, of the Israeli kids. What, uh, how many, how many Israeli kids were killed, Phil? Well, there was, what, 1,200 altogether. 1,200 kids? No, 1,200 people. Uh, uh, yeah, and most of them were adults. And some of them were um, teenagers going on young adults. You know, yeah, they were at that concert. How many babies, how many b babies have been killed in, in, uh, in, uh, in Gaza by the, oh, by the Israelis? Too many, but too many but in too Israel. Too many. How you can even it, did, a conscience did, that... Uh, okay. To begin with, to begin with, I'm not the only one that hates uh, Netanyahu. The well, Israeli people hate Netanyahu. Uh, not lately, but no, what do you, you mean know, not the... lately? Of course, worse now than before. The people who were kidnapped have been yelling and screaming about Netanyahu. Well, the families of the kidnapped people are asking Netanyahu don't, to. Don't. Don't try to excuse Netanyahu's no, no, horrible the family, behavior I, that he has done to protect his ass. What? You, can't, you haven't talked to any of the hostages. It's the families of the hostages that want the hostages back. So who are they going to complain to? Get the hostages back. And that's what he's trying to do. Uh, you know, they're, they're he held hasn't down done anything to get the hostages back because if he had, we would have had them back by now. He only well, keeps attacking in, in Gaza and keeps killing more people, and that's no way to say, hey, let's come to the peace table and get our hostages back. Every time Israel has come to the peace table, they gave land for peace. No, they had no, that all was, of these that was then. This is now, this is a different situation. For the last 15 years. The whole world is uh, watching, and, you know, come on, Israel is not the greatest 
bunch of people either. It's a terrible government right now. So, well, it, it may it's been be, a horrible but it's, government for years in the way they have the treated the Palestinians. It's the only country that uh, that well, a Jew can call a homeland. I don't. But, I don't need a homeland, Phil. I've got well, one. It's called. I the know United, you live in Harlem. It's called the United States of America. Well, and talking about Harlem, uh, there was a thing in the news. People are upset at Eric Adams because there's a lug, a luxury apartment building in Harlem, very close to your apartment that uh, has been vacant for 10 years. Well, yeah. Then it's and, not a luxury uh, apartment building anymore, I can guarantee you <laughs> that. Well, maybe it's that. in a little bit of disrepair. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the thing is, it's been vacant for 10 years, and rather than house the homeless or veterans or, or something like that, they're moving bunk beds in to house the migrants. And I guess the people of Harlem are up in arms over this. Are you familiar with that story? Not particularly, no. I've heard about huh? it, but nobody yeah. seems to care. My neighbors don't come knocking on my door saying, you hear what happened? Well, they're, they're talking to Eric Adams. and uh, uh, well, you know, Eric that's... Adams is a lousy mayor. He's a horrible well, mayor. And I don't think he's going to get reelected either. Hmm? I don't think he's going to get reelected. No, no. And he, was, he was hoping that. But I don't know who yeah. I'm going to vote for because I'm not gonna, certainly not going to vote for some Republican douchebag. Well, maybe Giuliani will run again. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> you know. Good. Let me see here. Um, the uh, DA Fanny... Uh, Fer oh, what? yeah, Fanny. She, that's a train wreck, isn't it? Well, it, it is and it isn't. You know, Are you I'm, watching it? Yes, I've been watching it. Me too. And, and how I feel about it is uh, she hired the guy. They did not have a relationship. but they, She hired she the guy to be the head of the... Uh, the whole Michigas or whatever that thing is, okay? Yeah. And um, then after about, I guess, maybe six months, they started seeing each other. Well, and, you know, that, people fall in love with each other. That's, you know, that's as it goes. Now, here's the question. That's their defense. How does that affect the case against, uh, against Trump and his cronies? It doesn't. Uh, well, uh, if, no. if, if she had a misappropriation of funds... Uh, they never. And, they look, haven't proved. It, they haven't the proved biggest, that. This proved is the, that, and that is not look, the main contention. This is the biggest case that she could ever have, and it would have look, launched look, her I'm, career. I'm telling you, she was stupid to have a relationship with this yes. guy. I will agree with you on that, but it doesn't change the case. It doesn't change the charges. Yes, but are you are you listening to the testimony? Oh well, she gave me cash, and uh, you know, there, there, and, and uh, oh, she paid for half of everything, and she just gave me cash. She uh, she went to Belize with four grand in her pocket instead I've, of a I've credit got, card. I've got I want I've got almost seven grand sitting in in cash in this house right now. I think I'll a lot of people a, a lot of people do that, especially <laughs> black people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But well, that's so, what so her the fact father, that she the... had money and cash to pay for stuff, fine. All I'm saying is I don't see that it affected the case at all, okay? Well, uh, I think they're trying to destroy her credibility. They're, and she's doing a good the, job The Republicans are trying to destroy her credibility, hoping that will bring again an end to the case. But it won't because the case is already, they've already been indicted. They've got to be tried. Not necessarily. What do you mean, if, not uh, necessarily? Because if it goes to another uh, county, uh, and that county would be appointed Why by the governor. Why is it going to go to another county? Uh, because they'll disqualify uh, that DA's office. Uh, is, it, is she the DA of Fulton County? Yes. She is. And, they, and the charge is against Fulton County? No, I think the charge is a state charge. Because she's it, the one that brought the charges in Fulton County. She's the one that brought the charges, but I think right. it's a, I think it's a state case, is what yes, I believe but they, it is. They, but yeah. another prosecutor. You couldn't be more wrong, Phil. There's nothing wrong with what she did. Uh, you know, uh, it it, it uh, doesn't pass the smell test, and her. No, it it doesn't smell pass the. Um, it's not the smell test, but you know she should have been a little more. What can we yeah, call it? I mean, this is, like I said, this is the biggest case that she could have had, uh, uh, you know, to launch her career, and she's coming out of it looking like an idiot. Yeah. Well, it yeah. wasn't, it wasn't, it was a stupid thing of her to do. 
Yeah, and and so's so's the you know the prosecutor that she's been shacking up with, you know he's uh, you know it just looks like they're lying. And well, well, uh, I don't know. I I watched it. I didn't think they were particularly lying. I didn't think there was there wasn't that much there there. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Russian. It's like Peyton in Place space. Though. now. I um, we we have Alan is waiting to come on, but I I would mm-hmm. rather sit here with you. Yeah, well, he'll just yell Trump. <laughs> yeah, he'll just yell Trump. Um, so, speaking um, of Trump, speaking of Trump, you didn't have yeah. anywhere on this list the fact that he may wind up going bankrupt. Oh, the three hundred and forty million. Oh, four hundred and fifty million. Because can't he put up a bond? Well, if anybody will bond him. Well, he bonds against his the equity in his building. Oh, okay. Well, somebody's going to own a building because he's never paying them back. Well, no, because there's nobody's uh, going to take. There's no bond uh, uh, guy who's going to take that deal. Well, the bond is usually there if um, if he doesn't show up, or you know. But if he shows up for trial, and then you know, and you then know, what he, if he shows up for trial. He well, you see, the bond. The, the bond is, is the here. Let me explain it to you. Okay. I, I do I do jobs like at the airport. I don't care and if you do I jobs have, at the airport. This isn't what this is about. Yeah, but, but I, I have what to is, put a What has he got to have? What has he got to have the $450 million for? Uh, for a fine. No. For a uh, judgment. No. No. What? If he's going to appeal the case, he's right. got to put that money up. That's correct, yes. Okay. But he can put, let's say he puts a bond up for $450 million. And uh, then if he appeals the case, uh, the bond company doesn't have to pay the 450. He does. It's, it's, if he, def- if he, if he defaults, defaults, if he defaults, they get whatever his assets are that he put in for the bond. Correct. Yeah. Let's say he put a building up that was. For, how much do you uh, think? How much do you think Trump Tower is worth? Uh, in today's money in New York right now, not a lot. Uh, I would say two hundred million. One hundred fifty million. Yeah. Yeah. How do you know that? That's what that's what the state of that's New York has uh, yeah. has uh, uh, said. The tax tax wise, it's worth. Well, yeah. tax wise, it's worth. Well, no, what it's worth. Whatever the thing is, where they where they say See, that, here's how much a this... building is worth. They appraised it. They appraised that, it. Right for tax purposes. No, but y- no, y- no. The tax... They appraised it. Well, and that's in today's money. They said, you know, here's the, how much... No, th- this is how much your building is worth, okay? But it might have been worth a lot more before COVID. It might have been worth a lot more before Trump was president because the Trump name at least was a brand. Right. That brand well, ain't, worth, and, ain't worth shit today. But they valued it at the time that the Trump name was a brand, and it had a greater value... Now, and I think that they're going after so he says that it's so many thousand square feet and they're saying oh no it's not no and he said it was he said his apartment was 300,000 square feet when it was only 1500 square feet 15,000 15 15,000 15, square feet excuse me um, yeah that's a big difference but uh, the banks that loaned him the money got paid back and that have no matter. beef with no, him. That doesn't matter. No, yeah, because what they're trying to do is they're no, trying to that discredit doesn't matter because Trump. all this cheating was cheating on taxes and so on and so forth. It goes all the way back, and uh, he uh, was cheating the people of New York. That's the people who who uh, stand to benefit by this payout. Okay. Well, we'll see. I don't. I don't think they're going to get anything. Oh, I don't think they're going to get anything because he doesn't have it. The man is broke, Phil. He's. I wouldn't be surprised if he finally has to go for bankruptcy. Well, they they say that he's still worth, or according to Forbes, uh, a little over three billion. No. No, they took him hmm. off the five hundred. Well, they maybe can, three billion doesn't get you on the five hundred, but it's still his, he's his not worth on the, he's according not, to them. Uh, he not, he's not on the five hundred. Okay, you know, right now there are, are a lot of I'll billionaires. Be, I'll be surprised. Do you know something? Last month, he spent every penny of the money that went to his campaign on lawyers, sure. 
on lawyers. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying to. He he got over fifty million. Yeah. and spent that on lawyers. Yeah, and and oh, so well, if, that's, if you that's, if you contributed to him to his campaign, your money's going to his lawyers. Well, I haven't contributed this time. Well, I wouldn't. Well, that would be a bad bet. Well, uh, you know, he may be the president again. And then I again, think he's going to win. And then again, he may not. Yeah. Do you think that there's somebody else that's going to uh, uh, get the nomination? No. I, 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 number one, I think he may not get nominated. There is a, there is, I hear a move afoot at the convention to make sure yeah. he doesn't get it. Which brings me back to, uh, oh, gee, we lost... Uh, Alan? Uh, we lost Alan. Yeah? Yeah. He just uh, got lazy, I guess. I don't know. Anyway... <laughs> Um, we've got to do away with uh, primaries. Primaries are a complete waste of time. They're a complete waste of money. And they were never, ever called for by the Constitution. Now, when did they start doing these primaries? Because I know that it started, my ex-wife's they, they, the, the, grandfather... Doing primaries more and more often was 1962 in more huh. states. Initially, Initially, the first state that ever held a primary or a caucus... It was in uh, 2012. I can't remember what... I think it was Nevada, yeah. uh, but it might have been another state. But f- there was nothing that said anywhere in the Constitution. I read, I read the whole thing today, the whole history yeah. of it, that ever said in the Constitution that you have to do it. Was it Hoover that, ran in, that was elected in 28, I think? Yeah, but he, he, up, even when I was a kid... They didn't have primaries. Well, no, the only reason I say is that I know that my ex-wife's grandfather brought the delegates from Calif- from San Francisco, I think, to uh, to Washington yeah. for his uh, uh, nomination. Yeah. Well, listen, I got some people who want to come on here. Really? So, yeah. Uh, All right. So is, is this like Johnny Carson's couch where you have to ask me to stay? Or, well, if, uh, you, if you want to stay, you can, you know. Well, you know, if you don't want me to, it's okay. No, you can. Just be good. Yeah. That's all well, I'm asking. You know me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm asking you to be good. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I'll here's Vernon Nunn, for you. and here's Tony, and uh, let's see here. Okay, we'll let them kind of bring themselves in. There they go. There's uh, Vernon, and uh, where's Tony? There's Tony. Oh, Alan has called back now. Yeah. Yeah. Why, uh, we should ask him why. What he? You look like you just got off a three day bender, Tony. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I need shave. I know. Yeah. Well, let me just. I do. Finish. Uh, but my mother would have killed me right now, Alex, if I did uh, this. Let me finish. Tony, it. you sell comics looking like that. You should know the kids. They don't yourself. look at me. Yeah. I know. My mother would be yelling at me. I got to shave tomorrow. Let me finish uh, just uh, once again with Phil and the primaries. The primaries were never, yeah. in fact, in the very beginning, the, um, um, what, what was it, the uh, um, Marcus, George Washington and oh. the, in, the, the founders of our country mm-hmm. really didn't want there to be parties. They said they didn't like the idea of po- political parties because they felt it would cause too much divisiveness. And then just having... Did- people who run for office and so on and so forth and are all conversing with each other is fine, but not different parties. So well, they, look, they, when you, they you first wrote Hamilton. the Constitution, they wrote out any possibility of, of, uh, of uh, parties. That only started to become a, a thing when we got into, I think, Thomas Jefferson, we got into the Federalists, the Whigs, the Tories, and so on. But who are the in ones the beginning, that they said, other? we don't want parties. <laughs> <laughs> Who were the ones that shot each other? Was that Hamilton and Clay, or it was Didn't Hamilton and and, uh, and uh, what's his name? Burr, oh, Aaron, Aaron Burr. Burr. Yeah, who said that? I get that. You on Jeopardy. You know, I mean, apparently so, you went to see the Broadway show. I see. No, I didn't. Are you sure Hamilton? I haven't been to Broadway in a long time. Yeah. But yeah, you know, look. So you know, we talk about oh, Trump. He's no good. These guys were shooting each other. You know. Yeah, well, I mean, by that time they they had, uh, but he didn't. I can't remember why he didn't like uh, uh, Hamilton. Uh, well, didn't I didn't he... like it because the music wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> you liked it? I didn't. It was supposed to be good. Yeah, 
I mean, Alex, he's in trouble. Did you hear about the My Pillow guy? He's getting sued for five million now. <laughs> the, the My He'll Pillow guy. Pillows. Come on, he's gonna. He's he's, he's out. He, <laughs> he, the guy up, said, "I couldn't be on with my money." <laughs> Vernon, do you think uh, Donald Trump is going to apply for uh, bankruptcy? It's a good possibility. Yeah. See. See. Did you lose weight, Vernon? No, I'm just on my my phone. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Different angle. I can turn it sideways. Yeah. Uh, he's he's always been there. Wait a minute. There yeah. we go. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah. I think you're going to find if, 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 where he's going to get this money. And he's only got now, what, another three weeks to get it. Otherwise, yeah, he can't, you otherwise he can't appeal. $87,000 per day interest. Is it 7000 yeah. It's a lot. 87, 87, oh, 87. Uh. So it'd be better if he put up the money today. But of course, he's a billionaire. He can afford that. Well, what would, what would a 1% bond money. be if, Ooh, if he can million. do a bond? <laughs> he'll have to put up the total amount, Bill. Yeah, he's still got to put yeah. money in. Well, the bondsmen don't have to pay up the total amount. No, they, they have a license to, to do the bond. Now, he has to pay them some percentage of the amount for a fee for the bond. Alan that's why, knows how that's that works. why on the original judgment for E. Jean Carroll, they put up the cash because they didn't want to pay those fees. Oh, yeah, and he and somewhere he could, at least from people like you who donate money to him, uh, he could have uh, easily paid off that amount. Well, that amount was only came to eighty three million. Uh, but business you know. has been slow, so I'm not too quick to uh, donate. Don't do anything. <laughs> you know why it's slow? It's a damn Biden. Yeah, it is. The Trump Real baby drill. sneakers in a bad economy. <laughs> yeah, yes, uh, uh, Alan has his hand up, and he's... So, he, in the business news today, I was watching Fox News for God knows what reason, but they said that the three three of the major bonding agencies in this country think that Trump is a bad bet and will not bond him. It's got to be named, a bond. They named, all, they named all three of them, but I didn't write it down because it's Fox News. You know, it could be 7-Eleven for all we know. Oh, it was Billy Bob's Bonds Company. He's going to go to the black guy's going to Well, he could probably go to the mob and get the money, but the, the, the uh, they could go to the mob and get the money, but the vigor is Yeah, you get a vig, you're going to pay the vig on him. They'll break his legs. I'd love to see that. We'll give you the money. You don't have it. We're coming for you. <laughs> you're, you're worried about Phil talking over you. Tony, every, every second. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Tony mm. sent me uh, two albums, yes. and one of them was uh, a promotional copy of an Elvis promo promotional. I got to look at the other records I got back. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you the other ones. I got a whole bunch. I got boxes still. Hey Jeff, hello. Yeah. It's okay, Jeff. Hold on. Um, you know, um, I mean, uh, I just, I just well, think I that so. uh, that he's in, he's in a lot of trouble. Now, you know, the big story today, and and people really were just going, eh. The rocket we the uh, uh, lander we put on the moon tonight was yep. that a private company? Yep, it was. Yeah. yeah. And what happened with it? Well, we don't. It landed know. safely. What? Oh, okay. It I landed know. safely. It landed safely, that. but we haven't been able to get a signal from it. I think, or has that, who was behind has that resolved the, itself? Who was behind the launch? What company or person? A uh, uh, company. In, was a. Uh, um, Oh, I can't look it up. I'm on something? my phone. What? Uh -huh. I can't look it up. I'm on my phone. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on. If you had an iPhone, you could do two at once. Oh, Let sorry. me see here. Drive. I've got one of those crummy Androids. Yeah. <laughs> Let me the see. Beard. Huh? Look at the beard coming in. Oh, yeah. Right. He's, awesome well. he he's, trying to, he's trying to look like you, Tony, with a little bit of, you know, two big growth or something. Don't try to look like me. I'm going to shave tomorrow, Alex. My mother will get mad. I'm in the grave. She used to yell at me for this. Hey, while I we're looking that, while we're about. looking that up, while we're looking that up, how about that uh, Alabama Supreme Court? Oh, the in vitro fertilization stuff. Oh, what happened? Yeah, they're, they're saying the frozen embryos that people put aside for in vitro fertilization oh. are actually children, and you can't kill them. Oh come on! Well, I wonder if are, you ride, I wonder are if they you ride them are, off. Are they fertilized? <laughs> yeah, yes. No, they're not, for, they're not. I don't think they're, they're fertilized. fertilized. They're fertilized and they are frozen embryos. 
Oh, and you should be able to write them off then, too, on Aren't your Aren't the pack? frozen embryos and <laughs> funny, put yeah, into the... Uh, you listen, uh, Tony. Oh, I'm cool, sorry. Please. That's copy. Uh, they <laughs> wouldn't be the number of weeks if they're frozen and they're... No, 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 and no, no. Just... This is, this is a, to begin with, the case, and I can't remember the case itself, that they ruled mm. on really had nothing to do with in vitro fertilization. It had to do with somebody that was claiming something or another, and they just said, well, they should be considered humans or something like that yeah. you know um, the sad thing is i i liked nikki haley until the other day she said yes. she agrees she said she agrees and i thought she's out yeah she agrees with what what does she agree well, with? That, that, well that, she was that, out with you anyway because you weren't going to vote for her oh no. you know she agreed uh, with the supreme court Trump. of alabama she agreed right. with the supreme right. court Sorry. of alabama yeah yeah and no. it, it, and it it was just a, a stupid determination i mean okay they're people well when's their birthday let me send them a present well i want you to know. write my kids off you know on my taxes what do, what do you buy what do you buy an embryo for its birthday a condom <laughs> a dog a donald trump for a president <clears throat> hat yeah but i mean it's yeah, really now good. it's the state supreme court do they have to i guess because of the Roe versus Wade, they get to make their own rules? Is that how it works? Vernon, do you know? No. Yeah, because of Roe versus Wade, now that question of abortion and, and uh, women's health is, is resorted back to the states. Yeah. But right. this, so each it, state can get make their own decision. But doesn't this fall outside of abortion and uh, the right to abortion? Isn't this a it's whole different? This, this is a whole different question. These are people who have taken their eggs, put them in a, 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 a cryo tank, right? That it was then going to be used to be the ones that are that are uh, viable. Viable. Were then going to be put into a woman, and she could have a baby. The right. only thing is, because of this law, if you take the ones that aren't viable, those are ones that either aren't going to come to fruition or they're going to, they're going to become uh, a real problem uh, physically and emotionally and in every other way. Um, oh, I got to, I got to get rid of Phil I Meyer's think, I think those are the ones thing that here. Vote for Trump. Hold on a second. I have a text for Phil Meyer I didn't that see I any, take off. I don't think, I didn't uh, see it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm looking at Zoom. Yeah, Sorry. well, you, you, you know, if you were looking on the lot, uh, air. Yeah, I see. I, it. Keep, there it is. I keep fucking up a lot lately. I got to stop doing this. Anyway, uh, uh, what was I saying? The you said there's some ones that weren't viable. It were, or, aren't viable. What, what do they do? They get rid of them. You're not allowed to get rid of them now. You know, so in, you fact, pay rent? in fact, unless you put them in the woman, you're committing a crime. I mean, come on. And if, and if she has a miscarriage, then she gets arrested and sent to jail. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, this, that's all got started, this all got started when Roe v. Wade was overturned. All these state nut jobs are now trying to say with this Alabama Supreme Court that life begins at <clears throat> conception. Well, you want to know something. It's interesting that uh, uh, hmm. uh, the whole thing with Roe v. Wade happening has really hurt the Republicans. Yeah. You know, because, and a lot of them are standing by, you know, getting rid of it and whatever. And the majority of Americans are for abortion. At this point, I didn't know the day would ever come when I'd say that. But well, that's they're true. for choice. They're for choice. They're saying mm -hmm. the government, they're supposed to be small government conservatives, and yet they want the government to be involved between the woman and her doctor. Yeah. You know, I'm sure I'm it, sure Phil probably I, agrees with you on that. No, I, I, you know, there is if you think that the once there's a heartbeat that there's a, a possible viable life in there, they yeah. have the same rights yeah, the that everybody else has. You're entitled, you're entitled to your opinion, Phil. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I and that's my opinion. But that's uh, not the law. That shouldn't be the law just because it's your opinion. Well, a lot of other people have with, the same opinion, with, and it's the law. None, none of us on this panel have a right to talk about this. Why not? Because it's a, woman's, it's a woman's issue. 
I don't think <laughs> I, I had cancer. To begin with, yeah, to so begin with, you, I don't like I don't sure. like a Supreme Court in Alabama thinking they're scientists and know how to define when a baby is a baby, when a human is a human. They don't have well, the right to do that. I'd like to know how many men are they on are there on that Supreme Court? Probably all of them. Yeah. Probably. So, you know, I, you know I, I and, and right I think men have no it. right to involve themselves in this matter. I think when the Supreme Court was dealing with it, all the males there should have recused themselves, and the two mm -hmm. women that are there should have I, I fought don't think it out. So. I, I think that three a, a, a person can make a decision that is fair uh, for all parties, not, and it doesn't matter what their gender is. That, that's that's bigoted, you know? I What's mean, bigoted? Just because what? a person's male doesn't mean that they can't um, do weigh the situation. Not a, not everything's personal. Would you agree with the argument that possession is nine tenths the law? No, because no, if you possess that, something I think that that's you shouldn't the law, possess, isn't no, it? no, 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 absolutely not. If if you take my microphone from me, it's still my microphone, and uh, just because you possess it, wait a doesn't minute. Let me let me let me right. back, back up a little bit. Let, for the women listening, he just compared microphones to your vagina. No, okay, well, go ahead. Think about this. I am the only one really qualified to talk about this. They gave me Luparin when I had the cancer. And what that does is it takes away your testosterone. And I started crying at uh, those um, Hallmark movies You're and, and looking for purses. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> they, the ones, they used to show that in, the, in, uh, in my waiting room for the uh, radiation. They used to have the same channel on Lifetime. No, really? Yeah, they did. In the you didn't, go to, you didn't go to the one I went to. They ran porn in mine. <laughs> yours was, yeah, yeah, see mine. what you're missing. Because they needed to get my jizz, <laughs> you know. Well, they was, I was going during the holidays, so they probably were playing it. Yeah. All, all I can say is I'm qualified to speak about this, Phil, because my wife and I had two losses before we adopted. And both, uh, of, I, those I, losses, I, I, both of those losses, if they had happened today, we would be in jail. Well, I, I had a loss. It, you know, if somebody miscarries, and that's what happened to my in my uh, the first pregnancy that uh, uh, my ex and I had, uh, after six months, uh, we we lost uh, a baby, and um, you know I I mean it was through no fault of hers or mine, and uh, you know I, I got a feeling that you got to be misinterpreting this. Uh, this no, room. these people these people are not misinterpreting. These people are fanatics. I don't think the ruling. Vernon was intended to be read that way because it was in a case that had an entirely different set of qualities. Okay. In the case of Alabama, in the case of Alabama, you may be correct, but all I'm saying is these people who are going after, you know, a life beginning at conception and all the things that come yes. from that means that if my wife and I had had the losses that we did 40 years ago, if we had them today, we would be in jail. Hmm. That just doesn't make sense. What I know it doesn't, but that's what we got out there. Unfortunately, we don't have to deal with that here in California. We, mm -hmm. we allow abortions. We allow women's rights to, to make a decision. Yeah. We're not Alabama, thank God. Look who's here. Yeah. Santa's yeah, here. The other Santa's. What were, you, what were you saying? Was somebody Turn your audio on, Kevin. No audio. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds like. It's the famous. Sounds like. It's the wrong color light on the microphone. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so I mean, uh, uh, you know, all I'm saying is the case that it was that it was based on the decision was based on really they they shouldn't have made that they that was an afterthought on the part of the uh, the the, uh, the ruling, you know, and that that's what's thrown the whole thing into an uproar. But who wants to have kids in Alabama anyway? That's right. So. Well, I I will differ with you there. Uh, uh, because Alex, because our daughter we adopted yeah. in Alabama. Oh, okay. But, 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 would that have been wrong in the past? No. No, and no. she's biracial. Uh -huh. but, you know, if they get if they get rid of Loving versus Virginia, 
<laughs> yes, right, right, right. Oh, man. Why do we have to deal with these things, you know? Because we allowed the Republicans to take control. Well, we didn't. I don't think they're in control right now. I, I think, the, I think, I think the Republicans are in big trouble in, in the fall, and I'll tell you why. Roe versus Wade is a big issue. And these Republicans who are against it are barking up the wrong tree because that is not the sentiment of the average American. And, you know, and, most politicians are, are so uh, lily-livered that do you think that they're not going to change their position? as They uh, haven't so far. They've doubled down. Hmm. They've doubled well, we'll down. This it's called pulling a Trump. Yeah, I, I got a feeling they're just going to try and pass the buck and say, hey, there's nothing I can do. This is, you know, this is the deal. But, I, you, know, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't disagree with abortion, but I do feel that it should be early enough in the pregnancy before, before there's well, that's a, a viable preferable. Embryo. That's preferable, Phil. But, you know, sometimes it isn't always practical. Well, okay. sometimes it isn't. You know, before Roe v. Wade was well, before Roe v. Wade was thrown out by this radical Supreme Court, it was viability that was the criteria. Now mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah, right. Well, it's yeah, religion. They, they, it's religion. There's the now what I heard the is religion. the crazy Democrats would allow pregnancy, uh, allow abortions up to and including the day of delivery. Uh, You're watching Fox News too much. That's bullshit, and you know it. It is bullshit. Not, I don't know. That was uh, Virginia, and you know a few other uh, states. That was their uh, that was their deal. And uh, you know, I mean, people reported it. I believe I, in retroactive abortion. Let's start with Trump. <laughs> there you go. Sterilize Trump. No more stupid kids. They should get them fixed. You don't want no more offspring, bro. That, that's a sterilization. He's so, so what man. about this vodka man? Uh, you know, going to get the uh, Biden impeached? What, Mister Smirnoff? You know, this this confidential source that that oh. Comer, oh, this yeah, guy from yeah, Kentucky, yeah, that was going yeah, to that, that get Biden impeached because of him. That was the Republicans' last hope. That yeah. this guy, this guy said that you know he was in the Ukraine and he saw that you know Biden was dealing with blah blah blah. He came out the other day and admitted that he'd been lying. Yeah. Well, and he was their about... only he was their only hope. He was their only person that was uh, uh, testifying against Trump, and he was lying. Look, and he admits uh, to talking it. Talking about impeachments, I think what they did to Mayorkas was wrong. Yes, because you can't, you shouldn't impeach people over uh, policy you, because you, you don't impeach, like them. You impeach because well, look, of Look, it's okay if you agree that he didn't do the job you wanted him to do, and maybe he didn't do it to your else. satisfaction, but that's not an impeachable offense. No. The impeachable and, offense and so is I, doing something that is patently against the law. I think it's time that people step back and, and take a breath and realize that this cudgel that they're using of impeachment has got to stop. It's got this to stop. Is, it's got to stop. They use it all the time. If every pre guy who's running for president or is president suddenly is up for impeachment, nobody will run. It, it, well, also, nobody Phil. will run. And secondly, even if they do, they, they don't have to spend their whole time in office defending this kind of situation. They want to do no, their crazy. job. And you should want your president to do their job, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to see Biden impeached. I didn't want to see Mayorkas impeached. Uh, they got elected. Let them do their job and take it to the polls. I didn't believe in particularly in Trump's first impeachment, but I believed in the second one. Yeah, I'm the other way around. I think the second one was a waste of time. Okay. He already got voted out, so... Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. I just see, here, here's what I don't understand. Look, I, I, you know, if you want to like any one of number of Republicans to run for office, even if it's DeSantis or whatever, okay. But any, if, if you're a Republican and you believe in Trump, you're believing in a guy who, number one, has been found uh, culpable in a rape, all right? 
A guy that believes you can pat women on their pussy, because if you're famous, you can do that. Uh, he, he, this is a guy who uh, now is uh, found to have committed fraud against the state of New York to the tune of $355 million. All right? I can agree. <laughs> it just goes on and on. I mean, this is a guy who, quite frankly, years and years and years ago, could not possibly run for office because he wasn't considerably morally decent, you know? And he isn't a morally decent person. When I hear these, these people go, he's such a good Christian. What? Married I mean, you times. even laugh, Phil. Is he a good laughing. Christian? I, you know, uh, he hasn't seen a I like either. Robert Kennedy, but I don't think he's going to be electable. Uh, you know, Talk about a nut job. No, he's an environmentalist. He, and, he, uh, he, he, he takes he's a, an anti-vaxxer. Well, what, what you know, I, oh I was listening to a podcast uh, the other day uh, with him and Cheryl Hines, and he said, he, I guess they were giving him a hard time because he took his shoes off in a plane, and he was walking up and down the aisle of the plane I've with done that. shoes on. Hmm? Really? I've done that. Bare feet. Yeah. Not in socks. Oh, barefoot. Ooh, oh, barefoot. Yeah. That's kind well, of I leave my he's, socks on to be. He's <laughs> I, I, I guess his reason for what doing is that is that if you expose yourself to germs, you're less likely to get sick. You know, like kids today. Yeah, but he's the, 75. Uh, the mothers, <laughs> the, the mothers of kids today have Purell. Can we just get somebody watching... young to run for office, please? Well, he is pretty young. I think he's 68 or 9. Yeah. Right? Echo, how old is Robert Kennedy Jr.? Robert Kennedy Jr. is 70 years old. 70 years old. 69, 70. Okay, so he's my age. He's already going to be hanging That's out. That's pretty old. Yeah. Now, I think in this day, too, age, too old to be president. Well, look. And I'll tell you uh, why, because the country is younger. And the country yeah. needs to have somebody in office who understands them as well. Well, I like Ramaswamy as well. But, you, uh, I knew you would like that. How can you like Ramaswamy? What, I can't even okay, what, what, He's what, brilliant. what position did he have that you really liked? The sitting one. Come on, what, what position? Sometimes he laid down. <laughs> you asked me what position. Uh, you know, uh, with, like with Robert down. Kennedy, uh, he said something very interesting. You know, kids today are allergic to peanuts. They're allergic to all sorts of things. They've got yeah. all sorts of ailments because they're not, they're, they're being scrubbed clean. They're not being allowed yeah. to go out and play in the mud like we used true. to as kids. That is what does that have true. to do with politics? Well, no, no, you what know, I'm talking about, you, you're peanut saying anti-vaxxer. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, what, uh, what he's saying is, is if you didn't, Hey, you know, he was an anti-vaxxer. That's what I don't like about him. Okay? You he was encouraging people to die. Not you gotta necessarily. Get he was saying, look, if you're young, you don't necessarily need the vaccine. Don't take what you don't need. Oh, by the way, uh, Phil, your green huh? screen, it shouldn't yeah. be like this. Oh. Uh, that's because <laughs> I'm lazy. Yeah. There you go. Oh, now, right. now, now the other side is off. It is. So, what are you using so, for a green screen back there? Yeah. Well, what do you think Ghirardelli you Square is behind me? I like that place. <laughs> and your so, so if you follow, showing up on the wall. <laughs> if you follow Robert Kennedy Jr., then you think that all state laws that, that uh, require kids to be vaccinated in order to go to school could all be outlawed. You know, I, I, he, he has said that he's not against all vaccines. I, I think that you're painting it with a very well, he broad thinks your dog brush. should be vaccinated against rabies, yes. Uh, no, look, um, he, he's not, he, you know, he's said to the, he said the, the opposite of that. He's not against all vaccines. He is, so, he is so out there, Phil, that everybody in his family has disowned him. And it's the Kennedys. <laughs> Do you think it's fair that uh, he's he was being pressured not to run uh, uh, as a Democrat? They don't and want he to take told that, uh, uh, you know, going as a Democrat to uh, New Look, Hampshire. I, I, you know, I got to tell you, I, I think I think Biden has done an OK job. The stock market's quite good. Your stocks are all up, folks. If you got stocks, yeah, you're yeah. making money. Uh and uh, those stocks tanked under Trump, you know, so he had to bring them back. No, the stock market was like 29,000. No, it no, it went wasn't. from like 17 to 29 under Trump. What? It was what? 
It went from like seventeen thousand to twenty nine thousand under Trump. Yeah, well, wow. right now it's okay. right now it's up around now it's thirty something. But it's up yeah, around but 35. under Trump, it, it, it increased no, quite no, a bit. Uh, Tony, anyway, the point I'm making is market? that what yeah. you, that that Trump yeah. has done okay by the economy. The, the uh, employment gas. numbers are up. <laughs> the uh, the uh, all the all the numbers are up. The only number that isn't up is what you pay at the grocery store, and that's not his fault. That's the fault of greedy-ass people who are trying to get money out of what they consider to be a, 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 a bull market, okay? How, how about the other Trump number that's not up? There's no foreign wars under Trump. Well, now we're we're, no we're this close to a nuclear uh, Wait, what, what, uh, And conflict. Biden's responsible for this how? Yeah, he, he, he's responsible fact. for the war in Ukraine. Yes, Biden. And how? actually, how? actually, how? what he said was how? John, uh, how? Because he didn't let Putin march in there. No, he uh, in the country. I, I listened <laughs> to Putin today, and what Putin said was that in uh, that Johnson from England uh, 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 created most of this issue, and Kamala Harris also pushed for the issues that uh, happened that caused Putin to have to invade. Oh, Putin he invaded, invaded because, because of Harris. Uh, yeah, he Kamala invaded, Harris. He yeah. invaded because he thought that the whole country was being taken over by Nazis. Nah, uh, yeah, how I, Jewish, is that? Jewish Nazis. Yeah, yeah I mean, no. I mean, oh. the president of the country's Jewish. Is there any such thing as a Jewish Nazi? Well, or Trump. As you said, there was a lot of things that were revisionist history, according to Putin, and I'm not taking what Putin said with uh, any uh, 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 assurances. I'm just saying that it exposed me to what his side of the story was. I don't agree with his side of the story, but at least I got an opportunity to hear it. And that's why I thought Tucker Carlson did a good job. Did and then I can make up my mind for myself. Uh, anybody, anybody watch John Stewart? Anybody watch John Stewart this week? Yeah. He, he likes oh, bread. he handed he handed Tucker Carlson's hat to his... He, Oh yeah, yeah. the other night, huh? Yeah. Was it the other night or last night or something like that? It was that? Monday. It was Monday night. Monday. He just oh, went through that, that was, Tucker Carlson that was a, interview. That was great. It was terrific. If you don't, if you got YouTube, go look at it. It's just yeah, the best. The best. Yeah. He still got a job that guy? Who Tucker? <laughs> no, uh, uh, Stewart. Yes. Monday night on yes, Comedy see, Central. Yeah, yeah, he he comes back. back. Oh, and yeah, they that, brought that back gives him a lot of credibility. And what yeah. I loved was uh, was uh, John Oliver this week, um, in which he uh, did a thing on the Supreme Court, and finally came up with uh, what's his name, uh, the black uh, uh, Clarence uh, Thomas. Clarence Thomas. Thomas. Clarence Thomas. And at the end of the show, he said, "You know, Clarence Thomas takes all these money, all this money and gifts and stuff from his friends." But he doesn't amount to what it should amount to. And he said, so I hear on this program, I have a piece of paper here. It's a contract. If he will quit the Supreme Court, I will pay him a million dollars a year for the rest of his life. <laughs> Secondly, he loves his camper. He, not this, this tour bus he's got, this bus oh, you were talking about travels that, around in. He yeah, said, RV. here is a $2 million RV. Wow, I'm and I'm going to give it to you as well. If Can't you will just on a million a step year. down from the <laughs> Supreme Court, you have 30 days from tonight to do it. He should do it. I mean, get the but camera. A million dollars a year, that's more than he's ever making. Even yeah, if his pals are paying him. Yeah, a million dollar like, thing on the house? That's probably nice. Yeah. Probably got satellite yeah. things in that roof. Uh, that and and by the way, here, John so Oliver, he, because he wasn't problem. just bragging, said that HBO is not putting up the money. He Whoa. is going to pay the money. Take it. That's a nice yeah. gift. So he better pray that Clarence Thomas dies soon. But, you know, he said, for the rest of your life, I'll give you a million dollars a year out of my own pocket. Ooh. That's even more than Harlan Crow was promising. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, you know. Kevin, who was the uh, Raiders coach that used to take a a, a, a one of those buses John everywhere. Madden. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. Yeah. He was he afraid to flew. fly after one flight. Uh, one of the yeah, he flew like once or twice, yeah. He had a bad flight, he said, and he never would go up there. <clears throat> oh, Clarence I Thomas won't his... fly? 
Yeah, I used to see his bus on 680. Well, he doesn't fly really? with me. He had a studio right on Dublin there. I, I delivered yeah. some uh, sound panels to his studio. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Bill yeah. carpeted the bathrooms there. You know, it's just the <laughs> no, thing that gets me. No, it, and it is, the thing that bothers me more than anything else is I've never seen anything like this in my entire life, and God knows I've lived long. But I've never seen anything like this. I mean, forget about Trump. That's just part of it. Just the whole damn world is going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. And in this That's country, we've lost every semblance of who we are. You know, maybe we had a better image, a feeling about ourselves, but at least we tried to live up to it. We don't anymore. When, do you, when have you ever seen in your lifetime, Phil, such a contentious election? Dirty. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is dirty. Up. Yeah. It is. yeah. It is dirty. And who set the rules on this one, Phil? Uh, the who Democrats. set the tone? Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi. He's still yeah. made up. He can't let it go. No, the chaos, the, the chaos was not created by the Democrats, Phil. You know, Trump says... Drill, baby, drill, frack, embrace nuclear. And so Nancy did Obama. Pelosi, and also so nuclear. Obama. Nancy so did Pelosi Obama. says, print, baby, print. Uh, was it Lenin that said, it doesn't matter who wins the election, it only matters who counts the votes? I don't think that was Lenin. Maybe it was John yeah, Lennon. Stalin, but it wasn't maybe? Nikolai Lenin. Uh, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> was it Stalin or Lenin? It was one it of those. It wasn't two. Lenin. I don't think Lenin ever said that. I never. Yeah. At least not. Maybe you're loosely trying to understand Russian. I don't know. No, no. Uh, uh, it's not trouble I'll look in English. It up. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway. So on to more important things. Who do you think is going to win the Academy Award? What pictures? <clears throat> hey, are they're the they're uh, Bobby. what they're. they're Making a new film in San Juan Batista where they did Vertigo. Really? Oh, San Juan Batista starting, is where the where Vertigo is done. Yeah, they're starting to film another. Uh, Paul Thomas Anderson has got all his equipment over there now. Oh, that's his new movie, eh? Sean Penn. I, just went, I, I yeah. just went by it a few minutes ago. And is he, using, is he using that same off. church? They're using the church, the, the mission there across the street and the Zanetta house. Oh, wow. And they're, the what? They're, the Zanetta house across the street. Yeah. They're using that. DiCaprio and uh, who else is in there? Sean Penn, Regina oh, yeah. Hall. All them people are going to be in it. Oh, cool. But they're only filming at night. And my, my wife was at the airport. Well, she works at the airport. And they had some big, big jets come in. And if you know our airport, you would think it was closed. But this big jets came in with limos and shit yesterday well, the last well, time marjorie and i were in california we went through san juan batista so i took her there to show her the church yeah and the, she said that's the not mission. the church and i said no the top of the church was cgi you know that's a <laughs> actually painting yeah fellow yeah it was joseph stalin but that whole uh that whole town is is pretty cool but that's a that's the back side of the town where they're you, working right what now. What did you say was Joseph there. Stalin? Uh... Uh, that quote. <clears throat> oh, well, uh, wrong again. Everybody have a drink, folks. I don't have no, any. no, I'm looking at it right here. It was Joseph Stalin. Yeah, but you said it was uh, it was Nikolai Lenin. Uh, I said it was Lenin or Stalin. <clears throat> okay. Well, it was one of those two. Are you getting um, a headache so yet, Jeff? So Back what's your movies. point? <laughs> well, I had said it doesn't matter. This Somebody quoted, it was either Stalin or Lenin. It doesn't matter. I said Nancy Pelosi prints the, the ballots. It doesn't matter who uh, wins. It only matters who Nancy counts Pelosi, the ballots. What, prints the ballots? Yeah, that's what she came up with at, at, during COVID that uh, mail in, and she sent, and they sent them to everybody in California. Christ, we're going uh, back to they, mail in shit again. Yeah, but you know, yeah, they yeah, sent yeah. all his mail in ballots. Bill, are you yeah, aware that Colorado hiding them under this damn are you a, desk are you and a, everything else? Such bullshit. It's all over with. It's not, <laughs> it's all bullshit. Bill, are you aware that in Colorado, that's the only way people vote is by mail in ballots? 
No, I'm not aware of that. And who won okay. in Colorado in the last election? Uh, Biden. Biden. Is it Biden? Yeah. It's also I'm trying to doctor that... mine up right now. <laughs> <laughs> so there was another. There was another um, uh, mail-in state where everything is a mail-in. I think maybe Florida. Yes, Florida is a primary mail-in mm -hmm. state. Yeah. That's because all the senior citizens are there, right? Yeah, there's a lot to do with it. Yes. It, no, and, it's, and, it's uh, different. and who took that state? Uh, that you was, know what? Trump. That was Trump. Trump. We get more people voting that way, too, and that's good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you but don't there's people... there's a lot of ability for voter <laughs> fraud. There's nothing wrong there's with it. No ability for voter fraud the way they handle it, Bill. It's taken care of. There. It seems it, as people though people can't vote during Double the election. People can't vote. I know yeah. they're gonna. I know what you're gonna bring up. Everything that DJT brought up, but it ain't. Yeah. Happening. But so during the election, that. there were all of these votes for uh, in I believe it was Pennsylvania. <laughs> for mm -hmm. Biden, and they didn't have any other uh, items yeah. checked, only yeah, they, the Biden one. Yeah, and they came in a truck. Yeah. And, and they well, pulled you know them what, from Bill? under a table. Bill, for the last three, <laughs> Bill, Bill, for the last three gubernatorial elections in the state of Kentucky, for the last three hmm. gubernatorial elections in the state of Kentucky, the governor, the total votes cast for governor was less than the total votes cast for attorney general. I guess they don't like your governor. Who's your governor? Right now, it's Bashir. He got reelected. Bashir. I, uh, and his party affiliation? The Democrats. Oh. And, and the only and reason... He's, and that, he's still governor. <laughs> yeah, he's still governor, even though the Republicans have a supermajority in both houses. Right. Yeah, so it doesn't matter... As long as you can, you know, who counts the votes? They said he won. And you know what they've been trying to do? What? The supermajority passed a law. Bashir vetoed it, and they overrode his veto that says that if a vacancy occurs in a senator's office, either Rand Paul or McConnell can no longer serve. They say that the governor has to appoint someone to fill that seat from the same party, which is against the 17th Amendment of the U.S. Yes, Constitution, absolutely. and it's also against the Kentucky Constitution. Oh, who won uh, George Santos's seat in Long Island? It was uh, a, the Democrat. The Democrat. The Democrat. Yep. The Democrat. The, the Democrat um, yep. Yeah, he had an odd name. He was a con. Well, he was a congressman before. Yeah. At least he's got some training in it. Yeah. He knows how to steal. Whatever. You think I lied though, Santos? You know, so do I, Bill. So, so do I, Bill, but that doesn't mean I do it. That's right. Mm. Well, we'll see. It's certainly better than the <laughs> idiot that he replaced, right? The guy that's going to state prison or federal prison. Mm. Santos. Oh, Santos. Yeah. Uh, it, now, he sued some talk show host yesterday or today. Oh, yeah. Or, or libel or something like that. Yeah. Well, he. I, yeah, where is he going to get the money to pay for an attorney? If he Santos into a bottle of, of, of uh, uh, Sprite, yeah. it will explode. Oh, no, that's Mentos. <laughs> Excuse me. Isn't that those little white candies? Yeah. 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 Mentos, I think. Yeah. Mentos. Well, we need like the Alka-Seltzer things. Yeah. Oh, yeah we should have an Alka-Seltzer challenge. Uh, you know, you film it and what put it on Alex's page. Your challenge. Who cares <laughs> about challenges? I liked it when they were doing Tide Pods, okay? Because <laughs> that was so stupid that maybe some of them died and they deserved under the Darwin theory to die. <laughs> the evolution, yeah. <laughs> Remember they used to say... Those pods are pretty big and you think you'd choke on them. When I was a kid, Alex, they, you know what they used to say, if you, it was an old folktale... Remember the Pop Rocks? They said if you had Pop Rocks and Coca-Cola at the same time mixed, it can kill you. That was baloney. Yeah. It's the Coca-Cola that'll kill you. No, you couldn't mix All it. All that sugar. When we were kids, they used to say. What was the old thing? If you, if, if you took in Coca-Cola, you dropped in a nail, it would uh, rust or something. It would do something. Probably dissolve. Oh, yeah. de-rust it. Really? Yeah. yeah. But that was Coca-Cola. That was not Diet Coca-Cola. Well, the regular, yeah, regular Coke. I like regular no. Coke. Different thing but, altogether. Good for cleaning toilets. 
So it's yeah, come to this. We've gone Absolutely. from all the politics we've been talking about you tonight about momentum challenge. He got me on the pop rocks too, yeah. <laughs> I used to like this. I used to knock my teeth out. Though. I used to love pop rocks. Yeah, I used to eat them like I used to inhale them like crazy. I don't used to get mad. Stop it already with those things. You wouldn't know it, Char uh, 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 Tony, but they were really good when you were having sex. Oh my! Yeah, I was just having them as a kid. Yeah, full of pop rocks and spending. sex. Come on. Depends on where you put them. I wasn't I was getting that no gross about it. Crazy. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, Alan goes for the <laughs> animal. I was just holding rocks. off a little bit so people could use their imaginations as to what take I was saying. Away from me, but no, animal. you had to take them right into the dumper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right and then into the Coca-Cola <laughs> to clean it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, so uh, um, we got about two more minutes left here. Anybody have anything they want to say before we go? Phil, I'm sure has something to say. Huh. Um. Uh, you know, I, I would. What about the uh, Russian nukes in space taking out the communication satellites? Uh, I, I don't think they're up there yet. I think it's possible. You know. Do you think that this was a trial run with AT and T and uh, the nine one one? No, no this had nothing to do with satellites. Oh, they said it was sunspots. No. Well, it could have been sunspots. Sun they've had some really satellite. big sunspots. Sun sun they've had some big solar sun flare or something. Wait a minute. They've had some big sunspot action lately. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I can't remember where it was on the planet where they lost all their communications. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yes, Tony. Yeah, and I, I can tell you, from sunspots, from my knowledge, I have a bit in the eighties. My brother bought a satellite dish, a C-band analog, and certain parts of the year we had sunspots where I could, when I would lose the picture on certain satellites yeah. for at least an hour, where you couldn't watch anything. Well, there was a time when all the television networks went down. Because yeah, I remember, yeah. like, what's going on? The guy says, it's sunspots. You can't do nothing about it. You're yeah, just they only last and... for about an hour or something like that. Yeah, it was, mm -hmm. like, very short time, but I couldn't watch something, like, in the uh, And it was just, I would turn walk, hey, walk, And walk. Alan has liver spots. <laughs> so, okay. Now, see, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. And could you explain that, Phil? Well, there's sunspots yeah. and liver spots. Well, I've got to go out, out later and find out what happened with this, uh, with this moonshot and whether they got the signal from it. Because they had, a, they had like a, a selfie stick out the side of it so that when it was going to go down, you could actually see what was going on with the whole ship and the, and, and the moon. So I mm -hmm. want to see if any of that stuff got back. But, it was probably a GoPro. Yeah. It's only going to be good for about two weeks and then it's gone because they're, they're in a very, they're, I think it, they, they landed it at night in the moon, which is almost, uh, it's two week night on the mm -hmm. south pole of the moon. Well, mm. wasn't that Mars lander only supposed to last for uh, a couple of weeks, and it lasted it didn't. Uh, it didn't. an enormous amount of time? Anyway, I'm running the theme here. I know you can't hear it. It's that damn people over at Zoom that won't let the music go through. Anyway, thank you very much, Phil. Appreciate it tonight. Uh, good night. And uh, uh, thank you also to uh, Verna Nunn and to uh, Charlie Parker. Uh, yeah. Who? No. Tony. Tony. So <laughs> making a big deal out of it. Alan, Jeffrey Stein, and uh, Kevin, as always, thank you, Kevin, for calling. <laughs> All of you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Amy Fisher. Uh, Amy Fisher. <laughs> Amy Manuel is next over this next to the same gabnet thingy, whatever. She'll be doing a little bit of a show here. And she'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. Okay, Skype on GabNet Live. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, and she's not going to be doing any shows next week because she's going to be taking care of working the polls. And I'm proud of her for that. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always... If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.